This is BB Ventures Arts. I'm here to train you on a cap in a simple way. You need your carry board. This one is cheap board. I call it cheap board because we normally use it for bag. You can use cardboard. And this is carry board. This is carry board. If you don't have carry board, you can buy your cardboard to do it. You need your carry board. You need foam. Foam to cover it. It's a light one, light foam. You need your cloth to cover the work. You need what you what you are going to design it, cream loading and the accessory, you can put your feathers and some other things on it. You need your scissors, scissors, and you need your ugon. You can use your ugon, or you can use your wax candle gun. The first thing we are going to do is that you take your carry board. I've cut my carry board to the size of my head. The length of this carry board is 22. Why the breadth of it is 2.5? You can make it two, you can make it, it depends on how high you want it to be. Then I have my head of the cap. Now to get the head of the cap, after you have cut your band for the head, you fold it like this, then you place it on your carry board. Use your pen to trace it around the circle. Then cut it out from your carry board. You'll get the circle head. Now, what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to cover it with my foam. This is my foam. I'm going to cover it with my foam and the cloth. I place my cardboard down. Then put your ugum or your wash can do around the Around the cardboard and the inside. Then take your your foam. Then place your foam on it. Gummies. Now take this. The second foam, then put your Ugon brand, the paper again, and place your second foam on it and stretch it. Let it go together. Then you can trim the leftover. We are going to do the same thing to the. You take your foam. The length of this is 22. It's the same length you are going to use for the foam. Put your ugum or you can buy, instead of ugum, you can buy a full stick gum in order to manage your gum and place your foam with it like this. And go in. Same thing to the back. Now the second. Then what I'm going to do now, I'm going to place my cloth. You cut your cloth the same size. Look at it. I'm going to use this cloth to cover it. The cloth to the same length. 
must be the same length with the cap. You can see I put the ugo, then we place it on the cloth. You go it like this. Then you spread the cloth. You put your ugum again on the other side. Then you cover it with the cloth. Cover the second side. Make sure you stretch the cloth down. The cloth must not squeeze. The next thing is for, for me to cover the center of the cap. I've done this your foam and then do the same thing to the second side and go meet. Make sure you stretch the cloth down very well to cover the and see it. Trim it right. You close the mouth. Join this space together with your comb. can put your own inside but i'm going to use it to cover it like this see it i'm going to place this on top of it and gum it together that's what i'm doing now then like this then You can see I use the trim to run the edge of the cap. Then I'm going to use crimlolin to design it. You can use aviad to do your design. What I'm going to do, I will tack it here. Just a simple design. Tack it. So I'll just roll my stitches down. And here. Place it where we join it together here. Yeah? I'm going to use it to join it here. Yeah? You know, this place where we join it, I will tack it here yeah? to cover the joining, then put other things there. I'm going to design it with this organza rose. I use my hand to make this organza rose. And so then I place it in front here. And the last one, I put it on. That's see it. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.